Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we're in the forward operations base on Earth. Let's see what else we can find here. Some ammo, but I don't think we need actually one of those. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. What sort of supplies are they talking about? Because it can't be food? Because Krogans and Turians can't eat the same food? The planet get hit like this. It'll be the last one if I have anything to say about it. This nightmare finally ends today. You really think the Reapers can be defeated? I know they can. That whole Sovereign business a few years ago, he was the first to die. Now all his friends will too. I appreciate that you're very, very positive about this, Garrus. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. Huh. 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 Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. I think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I say we've definitely earned that. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Turian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm by. <sighs> no one's tying you, Garrus? We're a team, Garrus. There's no shepherd without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Turians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Primarch Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. Yeah, it does. section right before the end. I mean, we're basically very emotional right now. Now we just have to shoot. It's, I don't understand this gameplay decision. Sorry. Thanks, I guess. Oh, God. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. 
I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What sort of gift? What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. Towels or bandages? No, nothing. Oh, my civilians are bombed out highway. Uh, then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and. Again, let me know. You're going to make it. Right. Okay. Thank you. But I don't think we'll survive another night of this. Sammy, where are you? Can't find you. Message me back, please. We go into that place and come out not this, this, not the same, not human anymore. Can't hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull, whispering they won't. Stop why won't it stop until I go where the others went get turned into one of these things. Oh god, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Won't listen to the voices, won't go in there. Can't make it stop. Know what to do. Oh duh, god. Doctor? Yes, I'm here. The corporal stopped breathing. Do you feel a pulse? No. He's gone. You did everything you could. Get you out of there soon. I don't think so. One of the big reapers is coming our way. Well, then run. Get out of there. That doesn't work. They always catch you. And then they turn you into that... thing. You have to try. Go! No. I've got the corporal's gun here. I'm going to end it before they find me. Damn it. And it? You mean... No, 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 don't. Goodbye, Doctor. Wait, no. Are you still there? Hello? Are you there? Damn it. God, I hate this war. When the Rack 9 laid waste to the galaxy 2000. 
thousand years ago, when all seemed lost and the end was near. One word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Rex, that was a good speech. Did you did you listen to my speech? This is a Solaria boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready in five. Get to it! Oh, that sounds more like the Rex I know. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Makara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. Right. Who's here giving the speech? Obviously it depends on... Suck it up, princesses! On whether Rex is running the show on, onto Chanka and also if you have Krogan support. If you don't have Krogan support, there can be Solarian here, for instance. Have anything to eat. All that Turian food gave me the runs. <laughs> yeah. Javik? Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. Well, I know someone who does. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. Yeah, we had a lot of those. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar... With Dr. Tessoni. She suggests journeys with the Prothean. You'd do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Protheans speak. It has been a privilege. What he says here depends a lot on whether you uh, encourage him to watch um, this memory shot that he had. If you do, then he'll, he'll say that seeing the memories again will want him to put old ghosts to rest and basically after the war he wants to go back to the men that he killed and that he saw in the shot again and then put their ghosts to rest and himself. So, but I really do appreciate that you finally managed to talk, uh, that you finally managed to use Liara's name. That'll probably What about this, make her happy. We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that center, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Yeah, level 60. Whee! I don't know, Admiral. Our Thanix missiles pack a punch, but that's against conventional target. A Reaper is a whole other matter. We have to make do with what we've got, Major. Get their crews prepped and moving. Yes, Tali? Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. 
What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? <sighs> well, it hurts, but I guess I'll shake it off. You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. The pleasure's mine, Talizor of Normandy. It's been an honor, Talizor of Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Thanks. Edie? Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? We have to. The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Well, I'd like to hear that. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Well, for some weird reason I can't save you, so while I would like to end this episode, I think I'll just continue and wait to see when we can save again. So, let's talk to Anderson. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Alright, then let's start. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well.
This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. Uh, we'll definitely do that. So, who am I going to take with for this last part of the mission? Since it's basically going into hell, I am not going to make this consideration on who's actually the best. I think one of the best people to take with us is Caden, because he's very effective in, in all, all different sorts of ways, and he's also very durable. Also, James is a very good good consideration. But I think if, if I go into hell, then I want to have the people that I care most about with me, which would be Liara and Garrus. So that's still fine. Hmm. Do I give him the particle rifle or the other one? I think the particle rifle will be, will be good. He's still fine with that, I suppose. And we reached level 60, huzzah! So you can learn another level of Singularity. Garrus can learn Proximity Mine. <laughs> right. Alright. So, people seem to be making progress, that's good. And the game was just saved. <coughs> Can I still save it on my own initiative right here? Can't. Oh, Garrus. Why did you start? Wait a sec. So let's set up everything. We need warp, of course. Uh, do we actually need stasis? I don't think so. It's not that useful against the Reaper troops. I'd rather have concussive shots so I have a shorter cooldown um, tech power uh, detonator. Singularity could be fun, but I have no way to explode it other than with warp. Hmm. Well, let's take this. And you can use the particle rifle for those enemies, guys. Oh, there's a marauder here. Your shield belong to me. Uh, come 
one rather, show yourself. Alright. So now we can continue our way through this no man's land that is that is that was formerly called London, but we're gonna be doing that in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.